You need a light for your concealed carry gun, check. How about one that's a little bit larger? Also check, even bigger than that, definitely check. Bigger than that, obviously. What about something like this? Looks like it should be a lightsaber. Let's talk about Streamlight. Welcome back everybody, Clint here today with Classic Firearms, here to talk about our next manufacturer review, that being Streamlight. Streamlight and all of their lights, of course, because, well, they've been around for decades making just that fantastic lights. In fact, one of the things that kind of kicked them off to famedom uh, was pretty much them building a searchlight, a spotlight, doing kind of like a commercial spinoff of something that was developed for NASA that reached one million candela, which is pretty cool, it's super bright. And they even eventually made a handheld version as well. Uh, but they're based out of Pennsylvania here in the United States, of course, and they make all sorts of different lights. Now, of course, what we're gonna feature today are a lot of their weapon-mounted lights, right? Um, but in addition to that, they offer all sorts of stuff. While we stopped at uh, their booth at SHOT Show, we did see their bear trap light, which I thought was pretty cool. It looks like a bear trap, uses springs. It can pretty much just go onto any type of surface. It's got magnets on it. So if you grew up holding the mag light for your dad while he was working on the car, and uh, let's just say you got yelled at a couple of times because you weren't paying attention where the light was being directed. You don't have to worry about that anymore because, well, technology is advanced and dad can now just slap this light on the underside of his hood and have all the light and lumens, candela, whatever you want to call it, that he needs. So, thanks Streamlight. Couple decades too late for me though. But, with that being said, uh, they also make a helmet light that he did show us there at SHOT Show, which I am very excited about because, well, I'm into that type of stuff, uh, as we all should be, because personal protective equipment, it differs for each job. But anyway, this thing can actually connect to like your arc rail on your helmet. They also have different other ways of mounting it to your person or whatever it might be. It has a little bit of a head that sticks out and you can actually direct it. It has different colors. IR capabilities, all sorts of neat things that I thought was very cool for a nice compact package. I am excited to get one of those in-house and make that part of my everyday carry helmet gear. Anyway, I've got a couple of lights set up on the table here, ones that we're going to be a little bit more familiar with here on the channel and of course, well, for our industry. And that is their TLR series of lights and of course their full-size light for your like your rifle instead of a pistol or a carbine that's a pistol still. But anyway, what we've got here is the ProTac on this guy with the pressure pad. I have been a fan of this setup for quite some time and Streamlight has always done pretty well by me. I've liked them quite a bit. And the only problem I've ever had is with a little bit of their pressure switches and their longevity. Then again, I'm also pretty brutal on a lot of my equipment and Maybe if I actually treated it a little bit nicer, it would work a little bit better. But what's cool about the ProTac series is the fact that it does came, does, it comes with everything you need right out of the box, which is pretty cool, depending on which variation you get. So the ProTac that you see right here, uh, this one does have the 500 lumen light. Also too has your Picatinny mount attached to the body of the light. And it also comes with your pressure pad included and your entire mounting system as well. So if you need Picatinny and zip ties, it comes with all that. And it does have a momentary on pad and also a constant on. Obviously I need to switch out my batteries on this guy. That's pretty dim and it's kind of covered with carbon, but it is what it is. Anyway, so that is a nice little setup, and of course they make much bigger ones. They have ones with integrated lasers as well, all sorts of wild things that you could possibly ask for. And they're also starting to get into the IR game as well. Recently we did a night vision shoot outside of here, and uh, one of my buddies over there uh, does have a stream light with a white light and integrated IR also, which was pretty cool to see in action. But anyway, now let's get to some of their pistol mounted lights. We probably are all very familiar with their most popular line, and that's their TLR-1 series. The TLR-1 basic just has a 300 lumen light, and it just works really well. The one that I have here, let's go with the TLR-1 HL. This is a 1000 lumen light, and this is, of course, on the Glock 19X. This is Alex's gun in our build series, and also one of our current giveaways. So, check that guy out, all right? We'll talk a little bit more about this here in a moment. 
One thing that makes me a big fan of Streamlight is how easy it is to manipulate the switch on this guy. So doing it just one-handed is completely easy. If you wanted to use the strobe function with the TLR1S has and also the HL, you just kind of hit the momentary on position up twice and then it's just flashing away, right? If you want your constant on, just flip the switch down and now it's always on. And what's easy enough for me to do is activate it too with my weak hand. If I've got two hands drawn on the gun, come down with my weak hand thumb and now I can aim this guy, point it in whatever direction. I've talked about Surefire before and though they do make quality lights and all, their switches, to me at least, just aren't that intuitive. It might be something that I would have to replace to make it a little bit easier uh, to work around. But this isn't a comparison video, this is just a review of Streamlight. So with that being said, quality lights, I like them. I've only had one actually ever break on me and that was after six years of use. And it wasn't the bulb, it was actually the switch and uh, well, I figured it was time to replace it anyway. It was just a basic TLR-1 that I've had, again, for six years on my everyday carry pistol, so. I'm not mad about it. Anyway, if you are carrying something a little bit more compact, they also have some slim guys for you as well. What I've got here on the OZ-9, which I love, by the way, they designed this pretty much for like your Glock 19, 19 sized frames and barrels because it fits flush with the barrel of the gun, which I think just looks very clean, but this is the TLR-8A. I like this guy because if you are in a low light situation and you need to draw your gun and draw it quick, this has an integrated light laser combo. So you'll be able to see this probably pretty well there, I guess, but you can see there it's supposed to be 500 lumens uh, with the red dot, which I think is pretty cool. Now. We're gonna develop a way to see if we can actually test that, by the way. I, let me know if you'd be interested down in the comments section below. Is it actually 500 lumens? Is this actually a thousand lumens? I wanna test kind of the brightness on these different lights because we kind of just have to take these different manufacturers word for it and it's like, okay, cool, thanks. We're gonna figure that out. Anyway, let me know down in the comments section. But the TLR-8A is a great compact option if you want to go for something that looks, first of all, looks really good and is streamlined on the gun, uh, but also has that light laser combo, which I do like quite a bit. Also has a momentary and constant on, which is pretty cool. So if you want momentary, simply just push and hold and then let go. If you want constant, just push and let go pretty quick. Again, the controls on these guys are very intuitive and easy to manipulate like it quite a bit. Same type of idea with the larger guy here. This is the TLR2G, also only 300 lumens on this guy, but does have the integrated light laser combo. And what's cool is it just has a little switch back here so you can choose between laser, light laser, or just light, which is pretty neat. So there it is with just the light, switch it on over. There's the light laser. And this one of course is the green series and then switch it on over. Now it's just the laser. So pretty cool, and this is on the VP9L, which I just think looks like something Robocop might carry, but anyway, pretty nice stuff. And again, the way their mounting systems work are also pretty easy, and they come out of the box too with all of the different types of mounts that you might find out there, specifically for like a 992 or a Glock or a different type of accessory rail or straight Picatinny or the Universal. Whatever it might be, they typically come right in the box with everything you need to mount up to your gun. And one of the last ones I'll talk about here, is for your compact guns that maybe don't have an accessory rail or anything like that, you got this guy. This guy is pretty cool. This is the TLR6, which is newer from Streamlight. And this one, this model here is just the light. They do also make this in a light laser combo. But for me, I've already got a red dot on the uh, Smith & Wesson Performance Series, Performance Center series of the Shield Plus. And uh, I really didn't find the need for a laser. Typically, I don't, think there is one, but again, that's just me, to each their own. Some people want to be able to draw on that laser, especially if you can't actually get a good side alignment. Makes sense, I got gotcha. you. Uh, but for me, with the red dot already, I was like, ah, I got too much stuff on this gun as it is. Don't need anything else hanging off the gun. But as you can tell here, it's still trying to maintain as low profile as possible, but while also giving me a 100 lumen light. So not the super brightest thing, but it's definitely better than nothing, and I can still be able to get a positive identification on a potential target with this light. So I like it quite a bit, and like I said, I've been running this guy as my concealed carry for quite some time with the Secret Scroll Concealment Holster, which um, I think we're gonna get Katie on the channel, and we might do like a comparison video between having a gun decked out with red dot light for a concealed carry uh, versus a plain Jane, iron sights, have at it. Obviously, it might be a little bit easier to conceal, but if you can throw all the crap on it, why the heck not, right? 
I'm not saying that any of that's crap, but you get what I'm saying. Anyway, so Streamlight, like I said, been around for decades, based out of Pennsylvania here in the USA, and they make some good quality products that are being used all across the world. And I do like a lot of what they have to offer that's not even on the gun side of the house, right? So again, they've got several handheld lights out there, all sorts of different ones that can attach to different materials or whatever you need it to do, so that way you stay lit. <laughs> anyway, Coming back to the Glock 19X, this, let me put these guys out of the way so there's no confusion here, and uh, the Mark 18 pistol, it's not a giveaway yet, uh, but this is our current giveaway, along with, grab these guys, the Shadow Systems XR920, and the Polymer 80 build here. If you haven't seen our build series uh, featuring all these pistols, then you're probably kind of clueless as to why we're giving away three pistols right now. And that's because Matt, myself, and Alec uh, got the opportunity to build our own pistols. However, two of these are right out of the box. But somebody had to build them, so there is that. But Matt did actually build his Polymer 80 that you see right here with a lot of tack fire components, and of course his uh, cap light. So you are still gonna be illuminated with his cap light. Not much illumination, but you will have it, all right? So yes, the P80 is included along with the 19X and also the Shadow Systems XR920 with the Trigicon RMR and the Surefire X300 on this guy. There's that other switch that I was talking about. Not as intuitive, but it works. But anyway, so all of these are each coming with their own holster as well. Go check out our build series if you haven't seen it because, well, we had a lot of fun shooting it and you get to see these guns in action and actually what one of you will be taking home. Yes, there will be uh, three separate winners for these guns. So there is that. And I will finish it off there. Before I go, though, I just want to... We need to take note of something on the wall here. Just go ahead and give this video a like, if nothing more than just how beautiful this rifle is. Okay, anyway, head on over to ClassicFirearms.com to get your entries for our three pistols from the Pistol Build series. And also, too, we recently broke a million subscribers here on the channel. Thank you all. This would not be at all possible without all of you. As always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. We'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.